Hi, YouTubers and WhatsAppers everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeTune.com. I'm back in our video. Well, this time around, we're going to have a shave with something brand new. Well, brand new to me. It's Duke Cannon Superior Grade Shaving Cream. That's right. I found this at CVS, my local CVS, for $9.99, just under $10 for a six fluid ounce tube. You can also get it on Amazon. It's a little more expensive. I'll have links below. But Duke Cannon markets all of their products from a very manly, masculine point of view. They have a lot of uh, humorous copy that goes with uh, their directions and their product uh, descriptions on their Amazon page and on their website, that sort of thing. But really, it does have a very manly and masculine scent. And uh, I have used this with a shaving brush. I've seen other wet shavers online say that they use this brushless. I tested in my hands brushless. Yes, it'll work up a, a fairly good lather brushless. But I have been shaving with this with a brush and it does a very nice job. It's not gonna give you a big, thick Santa beard kind of lather, but it gives you a nice lather with a lot of nice slickness and a lot of nice protection. So we're gonna be shaving with this and I'll talk about it more as I lather up and build a lather and that sort of thing. We're also gonna finish up with Duke Cannon Aftershave Balm. This is their ice cold aftershave balm. So we're gonna go wire to wire with Duke Cannon products. Uh, again, this was $9.99 at CVS, six fluid ounces. This has a really nice menthol kick to it and a sandalwood and bergamot scent that comes out as the menthol fades away. It's alcohol free, but it has um, shea butter to hydrate, menthol to cool. And uh, I've been using both of these for the last four or five shaves, and I really like them a lot. So I kind of wanted to come into this video prepared because I didn't know what to expect. And I'll get into that a little bit more. We're gonna be using my Vikings Blade Chairman Shaving Bowl to whip up the lather, uh, some Moog Excelsior 830 uh, Bore Shaving Brush. It's got 90% top hair bore, tops bore hair. A really nice uh, brush. Just under $30 if you're looking for a really good bore brush. This one's really, really nice. Uh, we're going to use my Vikings Blade Vulcan Long Handled Razor. Boy, I love this. Twist to open. This is just a terrific razor. It's got that beautiful patented Vikings blade razor head there, uh, similar to what's on the Chieftain. Longer handle, nice heft and weight, beautiful. I'm gonna be using a, uh, a Dorco razor blade. I haven't used these in a long time. These are the ST301s. They are stainless blades with a platinum coating. Uh, really affordable blade too, as a matter of fact. They're like, I don't know, less than seven bucks just under eight bucks, something like that, for 100 blades. Really, really very, very nice. Great price. Uh, most West shavers claim that they get two to three shaves and then they pitch the blade. And I would say that's probably on par, but even then, at about seven bucks for 100, or just under seven bucks for 100, uh, you know, it's pennies a shave. I love this razor. And we're gonna be probably doing three passes because I want to show you how much lather this Duke Cannon builds, and I love doing the third pass with this razor. Um, uh, after my shave, I'm going to be using an Osma Allen Block, uh, and then we'll get into the aftershave. And I think that's got all the bases covered, so let's go ahead and let's get into the shave. I'm going to take my shaving bowl that has some hot water in it. This is the Chairman Shaving Bowl here. As you can see, it's a nice size for this kind of a shape. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get some water on my face and we're gonna fill the lather. Very, very nice. Okay, I got a little bit of water left in that bowl there. That's pretty much what I want. And the Duke Cannon just unsnaps like that. And I'm gonna use about that much there. Okay, eh, maybe just a little more. I try to judge what it would be as a comparable to a dollop out of a tub of shaved cream. And that's pretty much what it would be right there. That's how much I got in there. Okay, let me get my brush here. There it is right there, the Samoa. It has a short handle. I think it would be a little bit better if the handle was a little bit longer. But the reason why I'm using this shaving bowl is because this brush is a nice length for this shaving bowl here, uh, where the uh, handle isn't gonna clang around on the inside. And it will really whip up a nice lather uh, with this that won't overflow 
too much. I'm gonna whip this up here for you. And um, I wrung out uh, probably the majority of water from this brush. And the way you use this shaving cream is you wanna add water. You don't wanna have the brush, the brush too wet. So that's what I'm doing here. So you can see it's a little bit dry. So I'm gonna dip the tips into the sink there and add a little more water and get it going. And my face has water on it right now too, as a matter of fact. So that'll add to the, the wetness of the lather, so to speak. But we're gonna whip this up here. Now you can use this brushless if you want. It'll work, but I find that using a brush with it uh, works very well. Okay, so there we are. And maybe I'll do a little bit of face lathering with this too, depending on how this goes. I think that's what I've been doing this week. You can see I'm getting a, I'm getting some nice, getting some nice lather, but it isn't going to be a big, thick, rich uh, kind of Santa beard lather like you would get with, um, oh, I don't know, Taylor of Old Bond Street or The Art of Shaving, Mitchell's Wool Fat, Tabak, that sort of thing. Parasso shaving cream. Okay, look, I've got, this is nice. Okay, now you're not gonna get a, you're not gonna, you get a little, you get a few small peaks here and there, but it's not gonna be those big peaks that you're used to seeing from other shaving creams. But the slickness of this is very, very good. Okay, so there we go. That's more than enough. Set that down. And look at that, isn't that nice? Now the lather might dissipate a little bit after I get it on my face here. And you know, just I'm gonna dip in just a little bit more here because it is, I wanna put a little more water on there. There we go. And it is a nice, fresh, masculine scent. Really nice. There we go. And really, that's, that's what you're gonna get. You're not gonna get anything more you're not gonna get anything, a little more water, just a little more water. You're not gonna get anything more than that. But as I say, like a lot of the super slicks I've used, you get a nice, nice slickness, only that this one kinda has a duality that you can use it with a brush or brushless. Okay, that's got it. And you know what, I got plenty on my brush still, see? Okay, so let's get my razor here. Let's heat it up, get some hot water underneath it. You know what, I'm gonna just wipe my hands off just a little bit here because of that slickness. Okay, that's nice and hot. A little swirl in the warm water in the sink. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. I got about a, about a day and a half worth of beard growth. Maybe you can hear that feedback. Love this razor, just love this razor. Just a light touch is all you need. Definitely no tugging or pulling. And you can see how it's dissipating on my face. But that is the nature of the shaving cream. Like a lot of other super slicks I've used, and I guess I would put this in the super slick category, um, it dissipates, but there's a real nice slickness there. Boy, love this razor. Love this razor. All right, that's the first pass done. Let's rinse. It's a nice first pass. It's on par with a lot of other first passes out there. We're gonna lather up for a second pass, usually for me with a super slick cream like, like these. That second pass is the money pass. 
the residual slickness is on the skin combined with a little more water and a little more cream and then you get a really nice uh, second pass result. Really nice. Okay. Again, that's all you need and it will probably dissipate a little bit as I shave, but the slickness will be there. All right, here we go. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Again, as you can see, it's starting to dissipate again, but there is a slickness there. It appears that I have a little blemish right here and it seems to be skipping right over that, which is nice. All right, that's the second pass done. Let's rinse. Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah, I'm done. That's nice, I'm done. But I am gonna do a third pass just to show you how much cream I have here. So I have more than enough, more than enough. I could probably even, probably could have backed off a little bit on that cream. Probably used half as much and gotten enough for a two pass shave, possibly three passes. Maybe a two pass shave and a little touch up. Nice. All right. All right. Okay, so here's pass number three. We're going to go south to north against the grain. I just love using this razor on that third pass. I, I make those nice classic Hollywood type strokes uh, underneath my neck here. Just, you know, just it feels nice. It looks great. Yeah, got the chin, really nice. Nice job on the chin, really, really nice. Nice slickness to help me get that just a little bit more, nice. All right, third pass done, let's rinse. Nice, very, very nice. Let's drain that sink. We're gonna do my two final pass, uh, two final pass, we're gonna do my two final rinses. Uh, one warm, one cold. Uh, Remember, when you're doing the wet shave, you never want to use hot water. Warm water. Warm water that's comfortable to your face. Warm water that'll help open up the pores and moisturize the beer and soften it and that sort of thing. That's why it's a good idea to take a good shower beforehand to kind of start that process. And uh, use warm water. Okay, so here we go. My warm water is. 
Nice, really nice. Uh, took a little bit, again, to get that excess slickness off, but boy, I got a really nice, smooth result, I can feel right now. Really nice. All right, so here's my cold water rinse. I'm just waiting for the water to get good and cold. Uh, the cold water will uh, get the rest of the slickness off, but also close your pores, which is important. So here we go, cold water rinse. Nice, very, very nice. Boy, that's nice. Wow, that's just invigorating. I got a clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Oh boy. Oh boy, that's nice. Boy, I feel terrific. Wow, there's just nothing like a great shave. That good traditional wet shave, it's just terrific. Wow. Okay, let's get the uh, Osma Allen block, run it on some cold water, and let's see what kind of feedback we get to see how, how close of a shave this was. If we get some stinging or zinging, that sort of thing. These uh, Allen blocks are great. Nice. Nice and smooth. Okay. Nice, very, very nice. Wow, that's great. Okay, gonna pat it dry there. Okay, and we'll uh, set it in this dish here and we'll set it aside, let it air dry the rest of the way. So we'll have it for tomorrow. Now, rather than do some cleanup, I'm gonna be talking about the ice the ice cold aftershave balm from Duke Cannon. This has the same kind of menthol uh, feel and uh, scent that uh, Parasso Green has, only this ups it considerably, and it really does. The first time you use this, it's gonna hit you. I mean, it really does hit you, but it really does dissipate after about five, 10 minutes or so, and it reveals that sandalwood and bergamot uh, scent below it, which is rather subtle. I don't detect it as being overbearing or, uh, or, or too strong. It's nice. And really, they say shea butter to hydrate, alcohol-free. It really does feel nice on the skin. Uh, Post-shave, about five to ten minutes afterwards, boy, my skin felt really, really smooth and soft. Liked it a lot. So if you're looking for something that's alcohol-free, that gives you a good, cool menthol punch, and then dissipates to something that uh, has a nice fragrance, uh, you might want to check this out. Also know that a portion of proceeds benefits U.S. veterans on both the uh, uh, aftershave balm and the shaving cream. And you know what? Like I say, their marketing is really very good. I mean, on the back here, it says not for clowns. You know, it's for men. <laughs> it's for men, masculine men. So they've, they've got that whole marketing theme there. So uh, that's kind of neat. And of course, on the back here, this one says not for clowns as well. All right, so here we go. It is a, a balm, but it's not, it's thicker than a lotion and it's not so much a gel, but it's like right in between there. So I'm gonna use that much there and we're gonna use some for some upstairs because now that the alum is set up here and we're just gonna go ahead Yeah, you definitely, definitely feel that menthol. Uh, you really get it. Uh, the first time you use it, it is going to hit you, no doubt about it. But the more you use it, you become accustomed and attuned to it. We're gonna use a lot. That much there, whoa! <laughs> that much there, good catch. Nice save for upstairs. And uh, again, it really does a nice job softening the skin. All right. And yeah, I can, I can feel it. I can feel it. I'm getting a little bit of post-shave. Uh, 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 it's not so much abrasing because it doesn't tighten your skin, but I can feel the cooling effect. And it's not a really, really cold, cold cooling effect. Although, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a nice, 
It is nice. It, yeah, I can feel it kicking in now. Yeah, and, it, and it'll dissipate and then that sandalwood and bergamot will, uh, will come out. So yeah, very nice. I'm feeling it now uh, all over my face and a little bit on my head. More right here on my face. Really, really, yeah, it's doing its thing right now. I can feel the cooling. Yeah, I can feel the cooling now. It's, yeah, it really is kicking in. Yeah, and at the same time, the menthol is is slowly dissipating. So um, you're, you're not going to uh, have that menthol uh, fragrance and scent carried around uh, all day. It, it'll, it'll, it'll dissipate. All right. <laughs> great shave. Really, really great shave. Uh, I enjoyed it. I, as I say, I've been using both of these products here for uh, the last well, this is my fifth shave, I believe, with this. And uh, I'm really surprised at how well they perform. I got a great shave, nice and smooth. No nicks, no cuts, no errors. Uh, but uh, that's also thanks to um, the Vikings Blade Vulcan long handled razor. This is stellar. But again, great protection with this. And uh, really, really nice. Uh, it smells like accomplishment is what it says here. Aloe for relief. For a man of higher taste. They just market the guy side of it and I love that. I really do. So, um, you know, Duke Cannon uh, ice cold aftershave balm. Really? Uh, well, here, let me, let me read this before I go. Let me read this for you. Duke Cannon knows a proper shave goes from hot to cold. That's why he created an aftershave balm so cold, it feels like you face planted into an Alaskan snowbank. Closes pores and soothes the skin without any irritation. Most ladies will find the fresh scent of bergamot and sandalwood rather appealing. Alcohol, sulfate, and paraben free. So yeah, that's a big plus that it's alcohol free. So if you want to stay away from alcohol in your aftershave balm, uh, you know, Definitely check this one out, and I'm still feeling the coolness of it right now. That's how good it is. The um, shave cream, really nice. Nice and slick, not gonna give you a big, thick uh, Santa beard kind of a, a lather, but it gives you a good, slick uh, uh, lather that lasts through the shave and uh, really gives you nice protection. Notice that I didn't have to use any pre-shave oil, and I got a nice, nice shave from this. Uh, so, uh, again, um, uh, the back hair, if left untouched for three days, Duke Cannon's beard would grow a beard. Therefore, he needs a shaving product that will clean him up without the burn. His barbershop formula shave cream is engineered with only superior grade ingredients. Aloe vera for relief, shea butter for hydration, macadamia nut oil for the closest possible shave, calendula extract for recovery. And you know what? Um, I think... Uh, I, I can really feel uh, feel that in the uh, in the quality of the shave that I got. However, I was using my Vulcan's blade, my Vikings blade Vulcan razor. Uh, really fantastic, fantastic razor. But again, you know what? Uh, these two are really, really nice. I picked them up at my local CVS for just under ten dollars a piece. Uh, portions of uh, proceeds benefits the U.S. veterans. Uh, I'll have a link to these on Amazon, although they are a little more expensive on Amazon, but if you don't have a CVS nearby, it's a good option. Amazon's a good option, uh, as always. And uh, you might want to check the price. Maybe it's fluctuating. Maybe they're going to start lowering it a little bit. I hope they do. Uh, because if I can't find it at CVS, Amazon is going to be the source I go to. But again, uh, I've used it for five days. And look, see? I don't know if you can see that. That's all I've used in the last five, five shaves. This was shave number five. So uh, this is gonna last a good long time. The shaving cream, if I back off on a little bit, I'll get two good passes with some touch-up, which is all I'm gonna need, and this will last uh, a long time as well. Probably not as much as this, but I'm gonna get uh, some good quality shaves from it. And at 10 bucks and 10 bucks, it's really not that bad of a deal. Well, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you today. Thanks very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Uh, comment below. Let me know. Have you used either one of these? I'm really interested in knowing. Please check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip George. Other cartoons, other videos like this, and I'll see you again real soon.